Welcome to the Networking with Michelle podcast, the show dedicated to providing you with life strategies with a little bit of entrepreneur advice. Here we believe in the Jim Rohn quote, success is nothing more than a few simple disciplines practiced every day. Hey everyone, welcome to the Networking with Michelle show. I'm your host, Michelle Gomez, where we discuss life strategies with a bit of entrepreneurial advice. Hey, I wanted to drop in here real quick just to let you know what's going on. And uh, so I want to recap, okay? So I got a recap last month. I was really excited. I had my first trip to NYC, New York, Brooklyn is where I was staying. It was amazing, y'all. It was amazing. So so let me backtrack a little bit, okay? So I was there for the Womener Womener Con uh, Conference led by Sharon Beeson, and it was absolutely amazing, okay? but let me go back. So the first time I hear heard about Womener was, I want to say maybe October, November through a mutual friend. She tagged me on Instagram. was like, you need to follow her. So I was like, okay, cool. Love what she was doing. Straight shooter, right? No, no fluff. Um, you get that instantly when you go through her page. And um, a couple of weeks later, my friend sent me another message. Uh, there was a call to speakers for the conference. And I was like, okay, cool. So I'll submit. And, you know, anytime there's a call for speakers, it's like, okay, what can I say? Or, you know, what can I say and do differently? And everyone is in marketing. Everyone's talking about branding. They're either a strategist, maybe a designer, you know. So I was like, I'm going to put a pitch in for podcasting. Because, yes, podcasting is rising amongst African-American women, but a lot of people are new. Um, when I say new, probably a year or less. And I've been in the game for three years. So I got just, just a little bit, you know, a little some, some. <laughs> so, and not only I don't talk about just podcasting, but I'll talk about building a network through podcasting. So I still put a little twist on there. So also, most of the time when you're submitting to speak for a conference, you're not getting paid right so you're responsible of your travel uh you're responsible for everything you know flight hotel all that kind of stuff so this was in december uh things were things were okay like i knew what i was getting into so i was like okay i can do this it's not a problem right so i submit the proposal whatever um communication was good it was like you know you should hear back from us by xyz and i said some i submit so many proposals i don't even keep track of it i should really do a better job because usually in january i'll just go on a binge of researching all of the upcoming conferences and submitting proposals and stuff like that that's usually what my january and february looks like and i'm like if i get an email i get an email if i don't i don't whatever so i do that and I go to work on my teaching job and my teaching job has changed. I actually left my teaching job at the end of March, but prior to that, they just made all of these changes. They started messing with my money and I was like, Ooh, I got to go. Okay. I got to, you know, I can't stay, can't stay here anymore, but they were taking money out of my pocket in so many ways. And, um, I didn't hear anything back about the conference and I was like, okay, okay, whatever. And then all of a sudden I got an email and it was like, Michelle, would you be willing to speak on a panel? I was like, yeah, cool. No problem. So I was like, okay, cool. I think they said like, you'll hear back within two weeks. So two weeks had gone by and it's one of those things. It's like, you know, like you remember, but you got so much other shit going on in your life. You can't even be worried about it. It's like, you know, if you want me, you want me. And when you reach out to me, I'll figure it out. So, and then I'm also looking for other gigs. I'm getting paid for other speaking gigs. Um, tr- just trying to juggle all of this stuff called life. And then it got to a point where I was like, okay. It was part of it was the money situation, but it was more, it was the money in the, in the sense that if I don't, if I don't hear from this conference, <laughs> it's going to be very expensive to get to New York. It was one of those things. And 
I was just like, okay, okay. Haven't heard anything. And then out the blue, Sharon called me. And it was, one, I usually don't answer the phone. I'm like, okay, what? I'm trying to get better on that because I'm like, I never know when it's going to be that business call. But I really believe the spirit led me that day to answer the call. Sharon called me and I recognized her voice immediately and she was like okay Michelle um, I know you pitched on podcasting but you know I surveyed my audience and they're just (laughs) they're not into that that's that's not what they're feeling and she was like I want to do a digital marketing panel and I see you focus on content I have a a sales sales funnel person and I think a marketing person and I just sold myself y'all I sold myself on content marketing and she was like I love it you're in can't how soon can you get the contracts to me I'm like give me an hour give me 10 minutes and it was it was really that simple it was really that simple Um, got the phone call started shooting the emails back and forth the contracts were signed I'll say within an hour or two very reasonable and started scouting for my tickets you know and I'm gonna be honest when I got the phone call my financial situation was crazy in the sense that you know I always I always have enough money well not always but always do well enough to pay my bills right you, you know prior towards your bills and I was like, I have six to eight weeks to pull this off. And then I was like, I can't flake out because I can't call this woman two weeks from the conference and be like, oh, I, I can't show up. For, like, I'm going to look foolish, right? And um, I promise you, when I got off the phone with Sharon, uh, I will say within a week, business just started picking up like things that I really don't even promote I'm very capable of doing I just don't promote those services Um, because if you think about it marketing is really really broad and there's certain things and it's only one of me and I contract a few people here and there so you really have to narrow your focus when it comes to marketing or just anything in business until you can you know grow your team and add other specialists in Um, but business just started picking up you know clients wanted more work I was getting new clients and not just random clients but people I actually knew people I actually had a relationship with whereas if it was a stranger I probably would have turned the business down but because I have a good relationship with this person or these people I was like okay I'll do it you know and just like that that new business or that new revenue paid for the trip It was (laughs) like, I don't, I I believe that's how God works, right? I think it's it's so many things. It's God, it's faith. um, It's just taking action. It's believing in myself, right? It's believing in myself to the point I was, regardless of my financial circumstance, I was still prepared to sell myself to Sharon about to the conference. And I say that just to encourage you. And even encourage myself that you just never know what doors are going to open for you. Like, you know, stay ready. You know, if you just stay ready, you're prepared. You're prepared for the good that comes. Because if you're not ready, I could easily, I check my bank account every morning. (laughs) I could easily said, "Um, you know, Sharon, I appreciate you calling. But, you know, I just don't have the funds right now when all actuality I had at least six weeks to get the money together right come hell or high water I had six weeks to get the money together but I believed in myself always believe in God and things just flow like I didn't know where that business was going to come from like I knew I was going to get some business but before I can even sit down to strategize and send cold emails and cold calls the business was just coming to me look don't get me started okay I'll start preaching 
start preaching up here. But um, I say that to say to encourage you, just believe in God, believe in yourself and um, believe things will flow to you at the right ordained time. Um, so I got to New York, got to New York and uh, the conference was April, Friday, April 27th. So I was there Thursday through Sunday and like this trip, I couldn't come at a better time. Um, on a personal level as well as a professional level and even going back to December uh, January when I put in the call for speakers um, I told myself this year I was like I need to branch out on my personal brand I need to start traveling more I love Houston but I can't settle I can't be satisfied with just being a local influencer if that you know and it's t I need to travel. I need to get my voice out to more people um, so I can grow my brand, get in front of new audiences. And that's what this trip was about. It felt so good to be among new, refreshing, lively women. Um, obviously, the majority of the people were from New York as well as just the DMV area, you know, D.C., Maryland, and uh, Virginia and a lot of them knew each other. A lot of them, um, you know, lived in the same area and then they just met in person. And then there's so many conferences in that area. I was just like, golly, ah. it's like, I wish I had the money to get, like literally they were telling me about a conference that, I mean, at that time was a month away. It's like at the end of May, you know? And it's, it's pretty costly to, go to DC and New York um, as far as the hotel part the flight's not a big deal but it's usually the hotel part at least for me and um, it, it just felt good just to connect with so many people um, people that I was connecting with online to meet them in person and then um, shout out to Seneca she's here in Houston Seneca Dunmore um, she's part of the Women Air Tribe so I ran into her there, had some time to spend with her. Um, and sometimes it's interesting how, you know, when you're at home, you're so busy, you're always on the go. And then you go out of town, you run into a friend. It's like you have all the time in the world to sit down and chat. So that was love. And um, I'm just so grateful. Uh, shout out to Sharon. Shout out to all the women I connected with. Had a great time. Um, another thing. Uh, that had crossed my mind was when I was in New York or when I was thinking about the New York trip I was like I'm gonna be in a new city I would love to um, you know do a professional photo shoot but because of part of it was like the delay in arranging all of this I, I didn't my financial situation and I was like at one point I did have the money but I was like I really don't want to because it wasn't just you know, hiring the photographer, but it was, you know, the clothes, possibly a makeup artist, all that kind of stuff. Just finding the right people in New York, in Brooklyn. I didn't realize how big Brooklyn was either to kind of help me with all of this. I didn't want to take that time to do it because, you know, I had new business. So, um, so at the conference, I met this lady. She had just moved back to New York and she was doing free headshots, right? And uh, she was like, can I take your photo? I was like, absolutely, right? And granted, it was just one photo, but it was an amazing photo. I want to say probably one of the best photos I ever took. Um, just, it was great. Timing of my laughter, and it's my current profile picture. And even with that little thing, I was like, that's God. You know, like, that's God. Um, Cause she didn't have to approach me. I didn't have to run into her, and you know, even wasn't even though it wasn't this decked out photo shoot, just the uh, the serendipity of it coming together, right? The universe conspiring, right? Um, I I just thought that was real cool. I got a lot of compliments on the photo, so shout out to her. And um, you know, if if anything ever leads me back to New York. I, I want to hire her like I want to work with her because um, she she did an amazing work not just for me but with the other young other young ladies uh, that she shot but 
everything happens for a reason so I thought that was pretty cool as well um, just grateful just grateful I got other things in the works that I'm looking so excited about looking forward to and I plan on sharing with you and um, so I did that came back Sunday night um, I think it was Wednesday or Thursday uh, May 3rd I spoke at people fund my seven steps to creating an influential personal brand great reception great feedback and I think you know we're on the verge of the halfway point for 2018 and usually around this time when I'm not getting the feedback that I want I'm changing directions I'm pivoting and this year I told myself when it comes to the time to make some noise it's like Michelle you got to stick with it you know for 12 months stick with it um don't don't falter don't change uh, just stick with it and I think for me to do this presentation in May was really a confirmation of everything you know of okay you're on the right track you're on the right track people love this um, you know I've been doing a lot of it I uploaded the presentation here uh, last week and um, I've just gotten a lot of feedback like even after the presentation if someone hears it on the podcast they're like you know this is different or I've been able to share my stories and articulate it better than just oh you know write blogs do interviews story tell and usually those are the top three things when you hear about creating your personal brand and I'm trying to just dig deeper I'm trying to be unique on my storytelling my presentation and I think that resonated with a lot of people um, in the room for the people fund event so next up my next event is Thursday May 31st and this is on LinkedIn with add to Houston uh, this is a paid event add to Houston um, they are charging uh, ticket prices are anywhere from I believe uh, 20 to 35 dollars somewhere around there right whether you're a member or non member and this is a group of young professionals um, that are in the advertising agency advertising marketing branding public relations somewhere around, along those lines and I am going to show how to maximize LinkedIn and I'm really excited about this because I've been researching I've been learning a lot of stuff I've been practicing a few things here and there and it's this is going beyond oh just have a complete profile but this is really about finding the right people to connect with um, on LinkedIn um, contacting them without paying for the premium services right that's where my bread and butter is how to connect with the right people without giving LinkedIn that $79 um, also what I like about my LinkedIn presentations, I don't do this, but the, the organizations I partner up with, they provide headshots, right? So if you need a professional headshot, this is the event you want to attend to because you can't beat it. You know, pay for your ticket and you get a headshot. And um, I think that's very important because you need a professional headshot for LinkedIn. If you're growing your, let me just say this, I don't even want to get into a personal brand company brand. If you have a bio, you need a good headshot with your bio, period, okay? So whether it's a company bio, your company, uh, organization that you're working with, your website, you need a professional headshot with your bio. You need a professional headshot with your LinkedIn profile, and then preferably with your other social media profiles. So... Um, they will be offering that. I'm going to have a link in there for that event. And the last thing is, uh, I've been sitting on this for quite some time. I've been going back and forth. I've known I should have done this, haven't done it. I try to do it in the past for other reasons. It didn't work out. I'm going to try it one more again. Yes, I'm going to try it one more again. And that is to start. <laughs> I'm going to start my Facebook group. Okay. So I want to start the Networking with Michelle podcast Facebook group. And I want this group to be a small, intimate group 
where it's high in engagement. It is um, high in interaction with myself, with others, that if if you like what I provide on the podcast, but maybe you want to have more access to me when it comes to business, when it comes to extra things within the business sense, um, I want to share that within the Facebook group. Okay. This is a free Facebook group. This isn't, you know, paying 20 for me. It's not about paying $20 a month uh, to a master, an online mastermind. It's none of that. It's about discussing episodes, right? Whatever the weekly episode is discuss, discussing that, um, in the Facebook group, um, possibly even having, um, podcast guests come back exclusively for the Facebook group to to, dis- to uh, excuse me to discuss more things like I did an interview recently I felt like it was a great interview but it could have been better in the sense of providing more strategies and tactics within their industry and then and I could always get this person on again that's not the problem but I'm like mm, what if I only get this person uh, for my Facebook group? So I want to find ways to provide um, great dialogue, great uh, conversation and engagement, but also exclusive material within this Facebook group. Um, So I'm new to this. I'm working on it. I have it set up. I'm going to have the link in the bio, um, but it's going to be the Networking with Michelle podcast Facebook group. And um, I'm obviously I'm already in there. (laughs) <laughs> but um, yeah, I hope you join me. I hope you see me on the other side, right? The good side. And um, I definitely want to make the most of it. And uh, tell, introduce yourself. Tell me what you need, what you would like to get out of, um, I guess, me or as well as the group over time. And I just want to grow that thing because I want to see all of us succeed. Um, also, lately I've been on this thing about creating safe spaces, right? creating safe spaces and you create safe spaces you create community and I know people follow me uh, online and I'm not just and I'm not trying to just say follow in the literal sense but I know there's people that follow me and we communicate on a regular basis through Instagram or Facebook Messenger and things of that nature Um, but I haven't been in a position to kind of gather my tribe right like I know people are sprinkled everywhere of course I'm in Houston so I know a lot of folk here in Houston Um, but I want to really create this as a safe space for the listeners of the show Um, my online friends but really want us to become friends because there's people that I would like to think listen to the show but I haven't communicated with online and perhaps this is the chance within the Facebook group so join me, <laughs> join me on the Networking Michelle uh, podcast Facebook group. I would definitely have uh, the link in the bio, but you can search that right now. You can pop in, boom, I'll be there with a smile on my face, okay? Uh, I think that is it. I think that is it on my end. Um, we'll go. Memorial Day weekend is around the corner. I hope that you are safe. Um, May 31st, I have the LinkedIn presentation um, here in Houston. If you have any events and you need a speaker, if your organization needs a speaker, reach out to me, okay? Reach out to me. And right now I am pushing hard, (coughs) excuse me, pushing really, really hard. Time to make some noise, seven steps to creating an influential personal brand. I'm doing that right now. Um, Also, I am working on a couple of books. This is very interesting. Always got the book ideas, always writing, um, working on some book ideas. Um, I definitely want to turn a time to make some noise into a book idea. I got to connect with confidence continuously in the work. And um, I've been inspired to do something for the youth. Um, So um, working on that, that's probably going to be the easiest because it will be the shortest. But... I'm here, y'all. I am working. I am working. When I'm hiding, I'm working, okay? And, um, of course, I'm here for you. I'm here for the people. 
Um, if there's any way I can serve you, please let me know. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, don't hesitate to reach out to me online. Um, once again, via social media, you can send me an email. You can jump in the Facebook group. <laughs> and um, I'm here for you. I'm here for the people. Remember, I believe in you. I believe in you. And a personal connection leads to an influential network. Thanks for networking with Michelle.